Hi guys, Jess here from Dove Computer Solutions and today we have the Surface Pro 4. It's available in three main different specifications. There's the Intel Core M3, i5 and i7. I believe we have the i7 here with 16GB of RAM and 256GB of storage which is currently available for £1,449 from Microsoft. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So the box has a simplistic design with just a few stickers that you need to remove to slide it open. Once opening it, again they're keeping it very simple and straight to the point with the boxing with magnetic white covers over the products. Opening up the box on the right we find the power adapter, which is really great as it also has a USB connector on the side for more options. The connector itself is sleek and magnetic as we have seen in previous models. Opening up the main cover we find the surface itself. Taking it out of the box I was definitely shocked at how lightweight it is. I definitely expected it to be a lot heavier, especially compared to other similar devices that I've tested. Straight away I can see there's a front camera and a rear camera with what I believe is an infrared camera for Windows Hello. On the side there's a charging port, USB 3.0, mini display port and a hidden micro SD card slot. There's also the power button and the volume controls, speakers and ventilation on the top for easy access. There's nothing on the other side apart from the headphone jack and a latch to help open the kickstand. Putting that to the side for a second, we find the manuals and the pen. I believe the pen is the same as the pen for the Surface Book, which is really handy. I've read that the battery in the pen lasts a year and is easily replaceable, so that's always a nice touch from Microsoft. The pen has magnets down the side which stick really well onto the tablet. It has built-in capabilities such as clicking the button on the top to launch OneNote which is perfect for instant access in those type of note-taking situations, like working on-site or in lectures. It also has capabilities to activate Cortana if you hold down the button, and also takes a screenshot if you double-click, so we'll test these in a bit. Putting that to the side, we have the type cover here. It doesn't come with the tablet, but I would highly recommend getting one, as I feel it's a vital accessory to use it to its best ability. You can find one for around £90. I do believe there's a version with a fingerprint sensor for a bit more money, but we just have the normal version. As expected, it's extremely lightweight with a suede feel microfiber finish on the back. I was surprised to find that the keys actually click really nicely and the trackpad looks a great size and clicks well too. It connects to the tablet through magnets and adds up as a really stylish looking case that would fit perfectly in any bag ready to take with you to college or work. So let's turn it on and test out a few of the features. The first thing I noticed was definitely how crisp and sharp the display is, so it will definitely be interesting testing watching films and playing games on this when we do our full review. One thing to point out is that the keyboard is backlit, which is fantastic to see, as 9 out of 10 times with the travel keyboards that I've experimented with, they haven't been backlit, but with this you don't have to compromise on anything. So let's test out the pen to see if it launches OneNote with a click of a button. As you can see, it works super fast and much more responsive than what I was expecting. Testing drawing on it, there's no lag whatsoever, and a thing to note is how good the palm rejection is on this thing. Everything I did was smooth and realistic to my exact movements. A thing I loved about it to take notes and draw with is the kickstand and how versatile it makes using it. I could tilt it until it was almost flat, which made it perfect for getting the right angle when drawing. Although there is a print screen key on the keyboard itself, it's still really handy to have a shortcut on the pen as it's already right in your hand, and as you can see, it worked instantly. Holding the button activated Cortana with no problems either, so that's definitely a good review of the pen so far, and the magnetic capabilities definitely makes it stand out from the rest. So that's all for my quick unboxing and first impressions of the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. We will be comparing this device with the HP Elite X2 1012, so stay tuned for that in our next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you!